Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and heard the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 3rd of April. Congress signed Rahul Gandhi files nomination from Bainad, left criticizes his candidate. Pakistani judges receive and fax laced letters, FIR registered. And Russia says it is working on removing Taliban from its terrorist list. And now for all the details. Hundreds of people including party workers and leaders joined opposition Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Wednesday as he filed nomination for Lok Sabha election from Southern Vainad. The incumbent MP was accompanied by his sister Priyanka Gandhi in the roadshow in the constituency where he had won in the 2019 parliament polls with a massive margin of over 4 lakh votes. In his address, he said he treats the people of Vainad as his family. If we have government in Delhi and when we get a government in Kerala, both of which we will do, we will resolve the issues of Vainad, he said. The constituency will go to poll on April 26, where Gandhi is likely to face a triangular fight from BJP Kerala unit chief K. Surendran and CPI candidate N. E. Raja. Notably, CPI and the Congress are partners in the opposition India Alliance. The Congress is facing backlash from several leaders from the opposition over Rahul Gandhi's candidature, asking why the Congress leader is not fighting BJP head-on. The Congress party is saying that the Bharti Janata Party is doing a lot of work against the Bharti Janata Party. So, the most important thing is that they are fighting in Kerala, where the Bharti Janata Party is not fighting in Kerala, where the Bharti Janata Party is not fighting. उनको लड़ाई लड़नी चाहिए उत्तर प्रदेश से जहां सबसे बड़ा गढ़ है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का और वहां अगर वो परास्त करते हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के दिग्गजों को तो उसका बहुत बड़ा असर पड़ेगा तो ये जो है उनको सोचना चाहिए कि वायनाड से लड़कर के वो क्या संदेश देने हैं अटैकिंग इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर जवाहरलाल नेहरू Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar has claimed that past errors were responsible for contemporary issues such as the POK and China's occupation of certain Indian territories. During his address at the Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industry, J. Shankar referred a historical instance when India was offered a permanent seat in the UN Security Council, highlighting Nehru's alleged statement of India's second, China first. He further expressed confidence that India will get a permanent seat in UNSC only if it works hard for it. As India gears up for general elections due in few weeks, BJP leaders have also targeted past Congress governments over the ceding of the island of Kacha Thivu to Sri Lanka. All eight judges of the Islamabad High Court have received threatening letters laced with a white powder prompting the police to register a case on terror charges. The local media has reported. The incident came just a day after the Supreme Court initiated so moto proceedings over allegations by the High Court's six judges against spy agencies of coercion and interference in judicial matters that have raised serious concerns. The Islamabad police in a post on X has assured that the investigation will be completed as soon as possible. The incident echoes a similar episode in September last year when a bag containing grenades, a pistol and a threatening letter addressed to judges and generals was discovered in Islamabad. Moving on, residents of Pakistan's Karachi are upset over load shading amid the holy month of Ramzan and over that hefty bills have added to their woes, a report. Residents of Pakistan's financial capital Karachi are irked due to prolonged power cuts and despite that hefty electricity bills that they are receiving, especially amid the fasting month of Ramzan. During peak hours, almost every locality witnesses load shedding and despite this they are being overcharged for electricity. They say overbilling has become a part of the system and it seems their woes will never end. Hmm. 
तो हर दो घंटे बाद तीन घंटे बाद लाइट जाएगी तो चीज़ें भी खराब ही होनी है ना बिल हो जा रहे हैं वही मसला टेंशन हर बंदा परेशान है The struggling 350 billion dollar South Asian economy has already been beset by inflation above 20% since May 2022 as it navigates contentious reforms it must implement as part of an IMF bailout program Sir Maher Ramzan mein load shedding to ek mamooli si cheez hai ki load shedding mehangai ne to kamar tod ke rakhi hai uske baad bijli ke bill taasha bill वो एक दरमियान है तबके का एक इंसान होता था यानी कि मिडिल क्लास एक तबका होता था कभी अब वो मिडिल क्लास तो जैसे कहीं मौजूद ही नहीं है यानी कि गुर्बत की सतह से कई गुना नीचे इंसान जो है गिर चुका है रशिया इज वर्किंग टू रिमूव दालिबान फ्रॉम इट्स लिस्ट ऑफ बैंड टेररिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मॉस्को सेट ऑन ट्यूजडे साइटिंग इम्पोर्टेंट मैटर्स टू डिस्कस विद अफगानिस्तान तालिबान लीडर्स Talking to reporters, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said, "Since Afghanistan is next to Russia, Moscow needs one way or another to communicate with them. We need to resolve pressing issues. This also requires dialogue. So in this regard, we communicate with Taliban like practically everyone else. They are the de facto authority in Afghanistan," Peskov said. While he did not elaborate on the pressing issues, media reports suggest it could be related to Moscow concert attack in which more than 140 people were killed. Islamic State militants claimed responsibility for the attack and US officials said they had intelligence that it was the network's Afghan branch, Islamic State Khorasan that was responsible. The Taliban returned to power in Afghanistan in 2021 after the withdrawal of US led foreign forces but have remained until now on a list of organizations that Russia designates as terrorist. Nepal's Deputy Prime Minister Narayan Kaji Shreshta has said his country will not accept Bimstech the Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral technical and economic cooperation to replace SARC the South Asian Association for regional cooperation the remarks came as the house of representatives approved the charter adopted in 2022 by the fifth beamstack summit held in sri lanka nepal is a member of both regional bodies though beamstack is functioning sark has been unable to hold any summit since 2014 due to a long standing rivalry between india and pakistan nepal currently holds the sark chair while the beamstack secretariat is in bangladesh Shreshta said Nepal firmly believes in revitalizing SARC and will take active initiatives in this regard as its chair. Coastal erosion has emerged a major struggle for sea facing districts of India's Kerala state which is rendering fishermen community refugees in their own land a report. Locals residing in the coastal region of Thiruvananthapuram in India's southern Kerala state were forced to relocate on Tuesday. after their homes were damaged by severe sea erosion coastal kerala is one of the most densely populated areas in india with fishing villages sandwiched between the arabian sea and its twisted network of backwaters the displaced residents were shifted to a camp by the local authorities where they plan to stay until the government resettles or compensates them for the loss of property some of them have also moved to nearby villages in hopes of starting a new life yenik ipo meen pidikana veelle orangana pattatha avasthalana ee deeradeshathinte ee koduramaya kadal shobathile njangal kashtapadayana the residents of kerala have formed a coastal protection group and have been demanding a new breakwater wall and groin to shield them from the high waves and slow the takeover of their land That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.